Hello and welcome you all. This is P. Sharma from Speed Academy and in this video we are gonna learn about the combinators. So what is what combinators are? Combinators are your simple selectors. Okay, so a uh, combinator is a part of your selectors element. Okay, so I have already made a video on a simple selectors and if you have not watched that video then you can just click over the I button over the top right corner and you will find the video link over there so combinators are your four types first is your decision selector second is your uh, direct child selector third is your uh, simple sibling selector and fourth one is your general sibling selector so we are going to start work with the your uh, um, decision simple se decision selector so what decision selector is so if you know about the simple selector then it will be easier to learn about your combinator selector so i'm um, going to start with the decision selector so uh that's just uh, as you can see i have already created a html file over here in which i have included a diff uh, diff tag with the class name box and with some paragraph spans and your you uh, list tags over here so let's start working with the decident selector so uh i'm going to uh i'm going to grab my class over here and just after that you can grab any of the element from your div tag so i'm going to give my paragraph so what does it mean uh the div tag uh, with the class name box and the paragraph included in your box class is going to be style uh, as per your the styling over here so i'm gonna change the color of my paragraph if i want to change the color of my paragraph i could just go over here and i can just choose any of the color from here and it will highlight it over there so i'm gonna choose white okay i'm gonna choose white over here okay guys so let me show you the output first okay as you can see my paragraphs only my paragraph color has changed over here so in this way your uh, decision selector works and let's just uh, give you one example or uh, so as you can see i have now a parent over here a box is a parent and a p tag is a parent and a span is a child so i'm going to target the uh, child of a paragraph element so this i've just saved it and as you can see over in the output that we have two span over here uh, in the code you can see here we have two spans over here and one here and one here and you can see only the span element has targeted so in this way you can work with your devs decident selectors so now let's just move on to your uh, Mm, next is your uh, first is your decident and second one is your not se uh, general sibling and sibling i'm going to work with the direct uh, sorry i took you that direct child selector so what the direct child selector means uh let me show you an example of it so i'm going to check this and this so as you can see over here is a simple uh your decision selector as you can see over here it's simple your decision selector so if i could change a class over here from to white color because the white color got highlighted over there as you can see my all the uh, list text curves the color of white inherited in the color of white so now we are going to work with your uh decision selector so what uh, sorry your direct child selector so your direct child selector uh this is a symbol of your direct child selector and what is mean that a ul tag having the li tag just after the ul uh just after the ul tag uh the li tags not the listed one as you can see i have created a nested list over here and so it is not going to inherit the color of the nested one it's only going to inherit the color of your direct child's so this is your parent and this is your direct child so after saving this you can see 
the changes in your output as you can see these are the direct child of your ul tag that's why is called uh, their color got inherited and these are uh, the playing football watching movies and listening music these are the nested uh, nested part so it doesn't get affected by your styling part so in this way you can work with your uh, direct child selector and now let's just move on to your third one which is your simple uh, journal you can see journal sorry journal size selector so what journal means uh, I'm in simple or let me just try to symbol first so I'm gonna target your P no this is symbol of no and I'm gonna target you okay so in simple word you can see uh, the P not you if you have studied the boolean algebra in digital electronics or mathematics then you are familiar with this symbol which means not uh, this is a logical symbol logical operator uh, used in the boolean algebra and it symbolizes not so if you want to uh, read it out in the boolean algebraic expression like that then you can read it like p not ul and what does it mean that it is not going to inherit the properties of your p tag over here it only going to inherit the properties of your uh, ul tag so as it's as the uh, statement suggests p not ul p not it is not going to uh, affect your paragraph tag over here it's only going to work with your ul tag so uh, after that you just save it and you can see in the output that our paragraph tags are unaffected over here and all our ul tag UL list elements in the ul tag has inherited in the color so uh, in this way you can work with the combinator selector so that's all in this video guys i hope you like this tutorial and do subscribe to our channel for more tutorials thanks for watching guys